Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Rip from TBA Guns, and today I'll be bringing you the PCC edition. But before we get started, you see the sign. So make sure you're being careful when you're handling these guns, storing your guns, or carrying your guns. All right, so first up, Draco, NAC-9. Now, I consider this more of a PDW versus a PCC. Um, PCC stands for Pistol Caliber Carbine. And to me, putting a brace on a pistol doesn't make it a carbine. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, a carbine is just a short rifle. So, that's the question I'll pose to you all. And please uh, respond in the comments. Does putting a brace on a PCC or a pistol make it a PCC. I'd like to know what y'all think. Anyway, Draco NAC-9, to me this is one of the underrated little PDWs or PCCs out there. It shoots well. I mean, it has all the attributes of an AK. It just shoots nine millimeter. And it also is made in Romania, like it's uh, big cousins, the Dracos. Uh, coming around between about mid 600s deadly accurate and definitely something I would recommend if you get into the pistol caliber carbons Draco Mac 9 now before I bring up my next gun I like to say I am not a gun snob and I'm not a caliber snob I believe in having multiple calibers I'm not just a 9mm fan or a 10mm fan, 45, all that stuff. I like to have something that can shoot every caliber possible if I can get my hands on it. So with that said, I make sure I have a weapon for each caliber. Next up, this is my high point 10, 95, chambered in 10mm. Now I already know what people think about high points and personally that's your opinion I think for the money and for what this offers you know the firepower um, I think you can't go wrong for this I think this is a viable self-defense option hunting whatever you want to do with it so the high point 1095 All right, we're gonna go ahead and clear this weapon. This right here, you may or may not know. If you know, go ahead and respond in the comments. This right here is the Taurus CT40. Now, for those who don't know much about this weapon here, this is the civilian version of what the Brazilian military uses. So I think theirs is called the SMT-40 or the CT-T-40. But this right here came in like a lion, went out like a lamb. What I mean by that is it came in with high hopes, but it didn't deliver because it came in with low capacity magazines and a high price tag. So it fizzled out pretty quickly. However, I love this weapon. I'm talking about this is probably the most accurate rifle I've ever shot. Um, it shoots 40 caliber, accurate, no jams, no failure to feed, any of that stuff. No problems with this weapon. So uh, the only problem is you can't really find large capacity magazines. There's some people on, on the channel or have the channel where they fabricated their own magazines but for the most part you stuck with the two mags that it came with and um, trying to modify those so but yeah out of all of my PCCs this is by far my favorite Last but not least is my JR Carbine, the Just Right Carbine. 
This is chambered in 45 ACP. Now, I'm not ashamed to admit I kind of bit scooch zero zero a little bit adding the mag pool furniture or the hog furniture. Yeah, it's hog furniture and it's a presser wrap, but I definitely think it makes it look a whole lot better. This is another accurate uh, firearm. Of course, most PCCs are accurate. But this one right here, you know, it's got the 16 inch barrel. This is the takedown model, which I can break this down. I'm not gonna do it at this time. There will be individual reviews on all these PCCs at a later date. So stay tuned for that. And as with most PCCs, this does take Glock mags. The NAC9 takes uh, Glock mags. It, but the course tours come with pr proprietary mags and the high points takes this mag so again if you have any questions comments please drop them down below and if you like this content please like share and subscribe until then we'll catch you in the next video